channel yet another video but this time it's going to be for skincare so a couple of people have asked how do i prep my skin before putting on foundation so what we're going to do first is we're going to do skincare and then primer and then i'll show you the foundation over it so what we're going to do right away is pin our hair back that way I've been using this brand since I was in high school and the fact that you know we're kind of collaborating together now is so surreal. So I have this tool here that I use where I apply it. It's pretty cold and massaging like. So I put it under my eyes. This is just going to help whenever I put concealer or anything uh, such as foundation or any setting powder. foundation and at the same time you're protecting your skin. Screw this back on. Right. 
So this has, as it says, all mineral actives, water and sweat resistance for 40 minutes. So it'll give a timer for how long you probably need to later on uh, reapply. But this is also uh, preventative against UVA, UVA and UVB rays. So any blue light, the sun, environmental shield, laptop, computer, cell phone. So I'm just blending everything in. If you don't want to use this uh, or any BB cream or SPF, you can use a regular one. It has no color. But this is what I'm doing right now to prepare for my foundation. I'm still going to use a primer for my face, but then you want to put any moisturizer first before any primer. the Fenty Beauty foundation primer it's not a foundation I'm using the Fenty Beauty silk pro filter hydrating primer so this is the base that I'm using before I apply my my foundation and I'm just gonna put a few pumps two Thank you. 
the daylight. I'm sitting in front of my bedroom window and the light is just going real quick. The evening's trying to rush on in. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm doing before my foundation. I'm actually going to show you how I put the cream contour on before my foundation. I do like a reverse kind of foundation contour process. So I'm just cleaning my foundation brush just to be sure that there's nothing left from the last time I had used it because any buildup that you use from before, sweat oil debris, uh, can clog your pores so I don't want to mess up my skin. because I'm gonna put foundation over it, like I said. But at least we've prepped our skin before. I'm just showing you what I do to prep my skin, which is hydrate, moisturize, and then I use a foundation primer. Um, I guess it's not a foundation primer. It's a primer before foundation. There you go. Where are my You do the top of your ear and then line it up.
I'm gonna have to transfer you guys to my vanity mirror because there is no more light anymore, so sorry. Let's just blend this. And if you have a heavy hand, kind of like I do, you can roll your brush at the tip or the end of the brush and then it applies much effortlessly with less pressure and you're not swishing away the products and then you can just tap it back. oh wow the sun's coming up that is so weird we just talked about the light okay yes this light is so much better where the sun is coming up what the heck what time is it 350 almost four that is so weird oh well it's only my makeup video okay i like to bring it up a little bit like here because when i'm setting the face it looks like i'm scrubbing
slash concealer by Milani so this is the Milani conceal imperfect and this is in the color number three light beige beige clair or as probably the French say fair just gonna shake it up this has a pump so it's really nice and the foundation brush I'm using is from MAC this is the 170 brush you could put it on directly. I like to put it on a makeup palette, so I'm just gonna do that first. We're just gonna do two pumps. So. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pat it on. What I like to do is put it on evenly on the brush first, and then I'll put it on. center of the face or you can do side by side so I'll just do one side and then the other Thank you. 
gonna set our face with translucent powder. This is Laura Mercier.
Okay, now let's just put on some blush. I'm putting a cream blush just because I still have the cream contour and cream foundation. So, this is the Pro Blush 99 from Sephora. Blends really well. This is the blush called Nude Kiss Number no. One Ten. Oh, actually, this is from Milani. Sorry. And I just apply it until it blends. It's really soft. So I'm gonna put lipstick in there, but let's just call it a day.